Hello, everyone. Good evening. How is everybody? It's good to see you guys again tonight. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. How are all you guys? What's going on? What's new? It is Sunday, which means I have to wake up early tomorrow, but I'll worry about that later. I'll worry about that later and not, uh, not now. <laughs> But, uh, did someone have a question there? Uh, yeah, most scenery should work in V4, but, like, sometimes some of it, like, doesn't install right because the way that the installer was made, like, was designed for V3, so you might have to, like, add it manually or something. Oh, is it really Captain Coaster? That's funny because we were, like, just there the other day. But we still got the two eights, even though it was the 19s all day. It's just our timing is impeccable, it seems, for not getting actual e stops. I think we got it like once. But what's up, Aster? How you doing? What's up, Coaster? How you doing, Duffy? It's good to see ya. How you doing, Lingus? Lingus, isn't it pretty late for you? I mean, not that it's necessarily any of my business, but. I was going to say, where are my sounds? That was awkward. My bad. I think I was testing something earlier, so I turned sounds off. That's what it was. Yeah, I was testing a uh, change. So we're going to go to Boise. Uh, I reinstalled the uh, add-on scenery for it. I think it works. I checked, so we'll see how it loads when I come in. But it, it seemed to work when I checked earlier. But hey, New York Matrix. How you doing? It's good to see you. And hey, CN. Hope you guys are all doing well. All right. It is already a bit dark, my friends. So we got to get moving. We got to get this plane going and out of here. It's that time of year again where it gets dark at 4 p.m. What's up, pizza? I would do Burbank, but there's no Burbank scenery yet. However, or is that what you're doing? Because Orbex is doing a Burbank scenery, but like it's not out yet. That's that's kind of why I haven't done Burbank. Not because I like don't like the idea of flying into it or anything. It seems pretty. It seems like a pretty cool idea, you know. But it's more about the whole like, you know, wanting to have scenery for it kind of deal okay so we're gonna need 14 about 14 for this so put that there uh New York I think so I mean I was planning on it although it's funny because I started the client and there was a patch so hopefully I'm assuming that it won't break the client but we'll see what happens you'll never know flight sim can be very quirky and you never know when something's gonna break for absolutely no reason and then it won't give you any troubleshooting information about why you crashed so we'll see oh okay lingus all right just wondering no worries what's up captain mcduff how are you? Welcome. It's good to see ya. Ain't that the truth? Microsoft Rave. You're freaking... All your files getting compressed is like so dumb. I thought that was so dumb. Oh my gosh. Apparently there's this thing that's going on with the new Windows update. Where your... Like... Documents folder gets like auto compressed. It's like really bad. I don't know why, but yeah. What's up, Octopus? How you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're well. All right, so all these are done, so we're good with that. And we're just gonna put in a few pieces of information here. So this is Seattle, obviously. I'll put GPS here. 
And then the Boise Airport goes on the other side. And this is going to be Alaska 2167. Oh, Lingus? That's weird. Yeah, I, I have no idea why. I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Uh pilot edge astro. I don't fly on Vatsim at all. I don't have an account. I don't plan on flying on Vatsim until 7k sub points. We already talked about this, but in case you're you're newer here and you don't know, people ask me to do Vatsim and I joke with them that if they if I get 7k sub points, I'll make an account. That's the only way I'm gonna do it. And the only that sounds sellout as hell. But the only reason I do that I say that is because I have no desire to fly on the network. Oh, Lingus, you saw the uh, banner on the side of the stream. Yes, that. So yeah, we're partnering with them this year and um, I will be attending. Yeah, we're just raising money for like all the travel expenses right now, but that is the plan. No, Astro, you don't need to worry about it at all. I'm just, that's why I said in case you're new that is the joke deal that I made with the stream. So if you really want to make it happen, make it happen. But I don't think anyone wants to spend that much money. And I totally understand. I joined Matt on the stream there. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. You know, for sure it was chase plane. Yeah, Duffs, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a joke because like no one in Flight Sim has ever reached that point. That's like why it's kind of, I think it's funny. It's such a ridiculous, it's such a ridiculous idea. You know, what's okay. I think Boise's high altitude. So I need the Boise landing altitude before I uh, get the flight planning going. I just want to remember to do this. Need to have a stream you stream a lot of coffee binge. I don't drink that much coffee and I usually drink it in the morning anyway, so yeah. If I have coffee, I only have like one. I don't have like more than one drink. You know what I mean? For the entire day. I feel like 1k viewers is the ceiling. Nah, man. I'm telling you, I just need to get really good at Fortnite and then play it. I'm just missing out on the, uh, on the content. We can make flight streaming great again. We can just give out free Fortnite codes. Oh, man. Feels good, dude. But yeah, Duffs, the most viewers I've ever had in the stream is 942. Not that like that's terrible because it's really not that bad. That's not a bad peak, but yeah, I mean, it kind of supplements your point. Uh, Astro PMDG and sales is kind of a meme in itself. So I'm going to go no. And for I'm not trying to be the guy to burst your bubble, but I'm going to say probs not. Let me get the uh, ATIS for Seattle here. Hey, Sea Dog, how you doing, dude? It's good to see you. What's going on? Okay, so it looks like we're going to use the 16s. I mean, near, like, kind of, but, like, the category is a ceiling. There's benefit. There's always pros and cons to a category. So, like, for example, let's say you like become like a relevant streamer in a new game, but it's like a new game. It's not like a online game. It's just like a single player game. That's going to fall off very fast because no one's going to care anymore about the game. The category is going to like sink really hard. Whereas like if you mained like something that has a consistent like repeatable content type then you can keep it going for a while chili will pay for my trip to the expo before pmdg has a sale well if you i guess it depends on what your definition of a sale is pmdg's definition of a sale is 
Oh, the NGX is on sale, but it's only the DVD box version for FSX. Good deal. Good sale. Good debated. 10 out of 10 savings. I really got want to get an optical drive to save $10 on a FSX plane when I can just get P3D. What's up, Fersion? No, I did not say your name. Yo, Sari. You're getting close to 10k followers poggers. You know, I'm not, I'm not too far away from it. it. Probably a couple more months, maybe if I peak well, but yeah, thanks, man. How are you doing, Sari? Are you going to stream tonight or are you pretty freaking exhausted from going yesterday, dude? You brought your... <laughs> This is more awkward because no one understands the context of your of your of your joke. What's up, TSM? Thanks for the fake a hundred dollars. <laughs> Thanks for the fake hundred dollars, TSM sinks. I appreciate it, dude. Well, that's gonna be a long taxi to one six center, but whatever. What's up, Tanner man? Sorry if I missed you there. No, Duffs. If it's real, here's how you know, Duffs. Um, it'll be from my bot. It'll have a sword. That's how you'll know. PMDG sales avoid each other like the plague. Like a person seeing their ex with another person better than them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's a good analogy, actually. Wait, is the pressure still effed? What is going on, dude? Yeah, 29... Dude, what is this weather in Seattle? 29.39 is the altimeter. Yeah, this low pressure system in Seattle is quite something. Okay, so we're going to tune the clearance frequency. That was weird. We're going to sync these. And then we'll put ground on the standby for later, but not now. But yeah, Sari, um... You put a kappa, do you actually have ice cream or no? <laughs> hey Ty, what's up dude? We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a uh, flight to Boise, Idaho. Okay. I was wondering, you had me going there for a sec. All right, so I'm gonna reset the squawk here. Don't really care about that. Although I didn't, uh, might as well sink it. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to need some lighting on this because we're going to get into the flying and then it's going to be real dark. And I'm not going to be able to see. Okay. So that's all done. So I need to do flight planning for this leg. So it looks like they use the Suma one, uh, Sid here. So we'll file that. So we'll connect. Uh, in Anchorage, the pressure was 2878. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. That's kind of, uh, that's unexpected. Yeah, this low pressure going on in the PNW and all that is pretty nuts. Oh, this is a 739, not a 737. Okay. Now let's not mix those up. Those, it's, it's an important distinction because a 739 is bigger. So you need to know the type. Although, I don't know if Pilot Edge would care. It's hard to say, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, low pressure all over. Heathrow had a Q&H. Uh, 0, 9, or 9, or 6. Yeah, that is, that is a little low. It is definitely a little low. Okay, so we've connected. So let me file. Yeah, I don't know. You know, guys, I was thinking about something a couple hours ago. It seems like in flight sim every single day something happens, even if it's small, right? Like even if it's small, like there's always like some like thing that's going on. You know, something getting released or something Good getting problem. made. I don't know. It's just kind of cool, I guess, to see like so many people like trying to to do stuff, you know what I mean? I just think that's pretty awesome. Obviously, that comes in a lot of different forms, but yeah. Okay, so this is Twin Falls is the 
alternate divert. The next project fly update. Yeah, Rafe, I can't say anything, but I am I'm, I'm gonna say yes. Am I excited for Burbank? Definitely excited for Burbank. That will be very cool. It'll be very cool, and I can joke with Andy about Southwest, and I can fly Southwest into Burbank. That will be good. Uh, okay, so the altitude for this. Oh yeah, we'll do three three zero for it. Why not? It'll be fine. Okay, true airspeed is the uh basically the altitude we planned. The standard and this is usually like in the low 50s for that so we'll do like 470 true so I don't expect to get 480 true okay the time is like a uh, long taxi I'm gonna give myself an extra five minutes so we'll go 10 past but we'll try to make it faster than that try to get things going here this flight's a little shorter than an hour but I'll grab I'll give it an hour anyway I'll give it an hour anyway, just in case. And we should be good with all of that being said. All right, so I'm going to file that. And then put this back in. And then we're going to call clearance and we'll get our clearance. Yeah, Lingus, I mean, that's different, obviously. But yeah, I see your point. You're looking to buy the VKB Gladiator Mark II? Yeah, I've looked at the Gladiator. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like a decent like mid-range joystick. Um, I think I've only tried the one of the V... There's two versions of it. I think I've tried the Mark I or like the first one. I think that's why they call it the Mark II because it's like the second version of it. But I've never tried the other one. Also, Captain Coaster... Uh, yeah, actually I do. So I have, I know someone, uh, I know a streamer who like doesn't mainly stream it, but she's like plays like X plane sometimes I think or whatever. Yeah. She's like hosted us a few times actually, but so yeah, like they're out there. I don't know of any, like, I don't, I haven't seen like a, a streamer who is female who mains this though if that makes sense like i've seen some variety streamers do it but i haven't seen like a person like consistently like you know but hey more power to them more always always room in there you know what i mean always room for everyone to get going going back to papa bravo romeo take uh, denver center one two zero point four seven I got this YouTube comment. One sec. Um, okay, I'm going to answer this during cruise. But I'm going to get clearance now. It's a good. I'm getting lots of good YouTube comment questions. I might make a video on my, my PTA and my Rex and stuff like that. Because people keep uh, asking me about my Sky. What's up, homie live? It's good to see you. All right. Boeing Victor Papa Bravo Romeo Tango. Denver Center, good evening to send that palace discretion, maintain level 190. Zero. Seattle Clearance, good evening. Alaska 2167, IFR Boise, please. Alaska 2167, Seattle Clearance, good evening. Cleared to Boise via the Sumer 1 departure. Uh, Baker City transition, then as filed. Climb by a sit, except maintain 900,000. Squawk 6515. And Alaska 2167 report to Boise via the Summer 1 Baker City transition that is filed. Climb via the SID except maintain 900,000. Squawk 6515. Alaska 2167 read back direct and I'm sorry, departure frequencies 120.4. And Seattle Clearance, no problem. Uh, thanks for the frequency, Alaska 2167. All right. It's on the plate anyway, but we appreciate it. Like, technically, like, he's being nice, and I'll explain why. Um, if you look at the uh, departure here, the Sumo 1, we're actually given the frequency on the plate. Um, if we're given the frequency on the plate and it's relatively obvious, then 
doesn't need to give it. It's more of a courtesy that th when they give it in that situation, but we could have easily gotten it ourselves. But anyways, just a little like tidbit in case you're wondering. Wait, what? Really, Niar? That's... That's... What the heck? Wait, I don't understand what I just read. Hey, Astro, yeah, it's Navigraph. Um, it's Navigraph charts. It's part of Navigraph. Uh, you need a Navigraph subscription to use it. Okay, so we have ground here now. We got our clearance. On the other side, we want the 1-6 center frequency, which is 19-9. Which you may have noticed earlier on the... Oh, or, oh, never mind, I wasn't showing it earlier. Boise by the Sumo 1 departure, Baker City transition, then that's fine. Climb, uh, climb by the city, except maintain 9,000. Wait, Park who's coming with me? Squawk 6473. Oh, something. Dang it, you waited, so I didn't know. People, people stalking me. Most Sari, if you're still here, you know what's funny? At least when you play Earthbound, people don't stalk you on Pilot Edge. You don't get, you can't have someone following you around while you're speed running. That's so awkward. Lask 719, connect Seattle Center. Gosh, why do, why am I so famous? Why do these people want to fly with me? Ugh, peasants. Tisk tisk. To be honest, not really though. I like it when people do that. Don't take that literally. If you do, I will be disappointed if you don't know me enough. Although I am wondering who this is. Lost 719, Seattle Center, good afternoon. Descend via the... Of course. Portal. Hey, Tanner. Thanks for uh, coming along, Tanner. I appreciate it, dude. All right. Yeah, not verified Twitch account watching me. Ugh. Pulling Victor Papa Bravo Romeo Tango connect kind of Aspen approach one two three point eight. Uh, C Captain Coaster, not often, not usually, because I'm typing it as I'm getting it. Like that's you might I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm typing it out as I'm getting it. That's why I don't forget. I'm like reading it off the screen. Speaking of the squawk, I should probably do that. Thanks for reminding me. So we got 6515. We do TA only for now. But that turns our mode C on. And uh, you did say you have the weather. Do you have a approach request? I'm going to leave ground connections on over here so I remember to deal with it. Then we're going to do routing. Yeah. Yeah, that's Bonk the real. Bravo, that's Romeo how you know you made it. Direct red table to center, maintain 1, Again, the Aspen altimeter, All right. So we're going to go Boise here. And yeah, this is a Roo. It's just, I don't know if it's flown by Alaska, but it's flown by Horizon, which might as well be the same thing, let's be honest. So, close enough. Paint? Who cares? I just care about if it's a realistic pair. And it is a realistic pair. Wait, I want my 739. Where's my 739? Do I not have one? I should. There it is. There's my 739. All right. Cool, dude. You got your P1? Nice, dude. That's cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add this. So we know the runway, so we select it again. And then we want the uh, Baker City. That's this one. And then we go back to route. So we go back to legs. And then we have hosts. And then we want to go to Boise Arrivals. Let's get the active runway for it. What's up, Storm Rule One Two Three? Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? All right. So the Boise Atis is showing that the active is the tens, which means we want to plan for the uh, one zero right ILS approach. And I need to see if there's an important initial approach fix for this. So let me grab that. Centennial ground, Cherokee 15494 at the GA ramp, uh, Alpha 13. Ready yeah, to Storm, I'm good, thanks. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing good, too. Cherokee 15494, do you have the weather? 
All right. So uh, yes, it looks like right. the Turn initial fix is Jimmy. So left, let me see what the arrival says though too. So Parmo three is our star. One seven left. Okay. Two yeah. Two so we want to use Jimmy, and I'm gonna explain why really quick. Um, so in this in this arrival, if I said departure, I meant arrival. So in this arrival, the Parma three we filed, um, it ends at Jimmy. And we know that because the textual routing description tells us that it does, even if we don't have the, even if we don't look at the visual thing at all, because we know we're landing south. So, and that's also where the ILS Yankee begins. So that's why we want to select that. And uh, Victor Papa Bravo Romeo Tango Mendoz to descend and maintain one three thousand seven. Hey Storm Rule, are you talking about like uh, like how to understand all of this or or like add-ons or like I don't know like what I'm doing? All right, so we're gonna execute all of that. So this is one twenty-eight. This is seven. This is thirty-five. This is flight level three three zero. We're going to get the cruise wind. Alaska 719, connect Portland approach 124.35. Okay, cruise wind. So we go flight plan. Oh, so at, so Storm, if you want to use P3D, uh, I actually made an add-ons guide. So maybe that is helpful. But if you have questions about, about it, I'm still happy to answer them. But yeah, I did make an add-ons guide to like sum up Last what I use. Portland approach. Good evening, the Portland altimeter two nine or six five. You can expect the Atlas to two eight right or two eight left. Your choice. Okay, this is three three zero, and then yeah, we'll just leave this. It's fine. Last gonna uh, seven nineteen on request. Just looking for this number. This is two thirteen fifty four. So we'll put that in. Uh, we're gonna we'll leave um. Yeah, we'll just do climb one, that's fine. Okay, we'll do five, we'll do 22, we'll do one, do one. Hey, Biohaz. Okay, I don't have it, Biohaz, but I haven't seen that many good things about the aircraft, so that's why I have no interest in buying it. Well, Stormroll, I guess if I don't understand, like, your questions are very broad. Like, are you looking for, like, installing the platform? versus like installing add-ons or like i don't know you know what i mean platform meaning like this or x plane or fsx or something whatever you were choosing hey crusty it's good to see you dude how you doing man all right So we get the VOR displays. So we finish this. So we're gonna set the MCP here. So this is 151. The heading is the 16 heading for Seattle. Yeah, add-ons usually come with instructions. So like if it's, and a lot of installers walk you through it, but if it's a, if it's like something that doesn't have an installer, then it's probably like a, uh, it's probably like a scenery or something. I don't know, but that's not technically an add on in the sense that like we think of add ons in flight sim. What's up, foe man. Do you have commands? What are you looking for foe man? Yeah, we have some. What are you looking for? Are you looking for like my add ons list or something? All right, so we were told to maintain nine or thousand, so we're gonna put that, so we remember to not go, uh, to keep climbing without the uh, clearance to keep climbing, if you will. Okay, we'll arm that for now. No, I mean like you, I mean add-ons like. Yeah, you have to you have to get the simulator before you can get add-ons, basically, because they're add they're add-ons. Hey, Hachi, how you doing? It's good to see you. So okay, so we did this, did the uh, M the uh, CDU there. We did all that. 
So we need to do the overhead before we continue. So I need this if it, I didn't do it already. Okay. Okay, we do AP bleed off. Uh, switch the igniter side. Okay, we have Tess. Uh, storm roll as soon as I'm ready. So probably about 20 to 30 minutes. That includes taxiing to the runway though, because we're on the other side of the airport. Because the active at Seattle is south and we're by the north side. Well, we're on the south side of the airport, but we're by the northern runway facing runways. Uh, Hachi, I did. Yeah, I was talking about it yesterday. Yeah, it seems to have fixed some bugs with the plane, pretty much. I think that's like the biggest thing that I noticed, but... Yeah. Okay, so we want Yacht Amper and then Fuel Pumps. We're not using Center, so we'll leave them. I'm gonna do Window Heats and then leave these off for now. We'll come back to them later. And then we want to switch to those. And that is most of that, actually. Oh, I did not mean to put that to ground. I must have uh, clicked it while I was trying to do something else. You gotta watch that. You gotta watch your interactions. One Victor Papa Bravo, Romeo Tango, kind of Aspen Tower, we'll see. And we'll test that, why not? It takes a sec. Okay. Okay, then we just have a couple more things here. Okay, we did uh, pressurization up here as well. Uh, okay, so we're gonna come down here. We're gonna set the displays up. Yeah, New York. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay, that's good. Oh, that I throttle seems to Victor delay. Nintendo is in the yard now, box truck. Seems kind of slow. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be, though. It seems like it should be Boy, faster. Papa, Bravo, Romeo, Tango, Aspirin, Tower. Good evening. Wind three five zero at six. Runway one five. Put on. All right. Then runway one five. Make sure Papa, Bravo, Romeo, Tango. We'll do our fire test as well, really quick. Okay. And we did all of this already, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click the APU on. We're doing pretty good on pacing here. Doing fine on pacing anyway, I should say. I mean, it's pretty normal, like, pretty average, I guess. So, guys. Um, you know, it's pretty weird. Um. So, before I went live, I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out why, even with dynamic lighting disabled, that I was just out of GPU load. Like, it was like, P3D was using 91%. Um, I was like, why, right? So, I even had, I even disabled, had dynamic lighting off. So, I turned down my active sky cloud layers from 2 to 1, and I guess it's fine right now. I guess we'll see. I don't really know. It was really, like, scary, though. Because you Plus can't encode with, Thank you. even Add if you Schaefer CPU Peter encode, Alex you can't Michael. encode. Uh, OBS will not have it if you uh, are Tricky encoding anything on the system on and GPU is max. It doesn't matter what kind of encoder you're using. Off, Cherokee, it'll, it'll just be terrible. Wins two zero zero at six. Okay, so just waiting for the APU to come on. So get the agents going for it. Yeah, they fixed Rainmaker, New York. Um, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, Storm, we're going to Boise, Idaho, if I didn't say that. But um, they fixed the 748. Uh, or 744. 748 was fine. They broke the 744 Rainmaker somehow. But they fixed it pretty quick. But something broke it. Who knows what it was? I have no idea. All right. So with all that being said, we have the APU gens now, so we don't really need this anymore. So we'll take that out. 
Then we'll go back. We'll put this on legs. And we're on the ramp, so we can push our discretion and then contact the ground controller once we're uh, ready to go on here. That'll be after pushing and starting the airplane. So we're going to call ground now. Okay. Uh, I don't really need to push a direction, so I'm going to push straight so GSX will behave. In, the, in this position, I don't need to push in a direction. Wow, Captain Coaster, how old is that meme of yours? That's got to be like pretty. That's got to be almost a year old now, right? Holy crap, time goes. That was like back when all the drama was going on. Yes, Dread. Is this, what do you think it is? What do you think it is, bro? Do I look 21? Sorry, I'm not in that kind of nation. Or that's a thing. Or what you're thinking is a thing. Mr. Dread. All right. So we'll go ahead. Roger, Papa, Bravo, Romeo, Tango, welcome to Aspen. Left turn, enable join. Yeah, we're gonna push the airplane. We're gonna start the airplane. I don't even know what that is. So that beats me. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about at all. All right, so AP bleed's gonna come in. So we have. Turkey 15494 Denver departure and, and climb and maintain 16,000. All right. No worries, Dread. I just had no idea Turkey what you were talking about. One mile south of Centennial Airport, it's leaving 8,000. Turn right, heading at 080. Correction, turn left, heading 080. All right. So we're going to go for two here. We'll start with it. Also, I'm going to I'm going to try turning dynamic lighting back on. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to give it a shot. Because right now it seems to be holding up for whatever reason. So I'm going to try it. OK, so NT is coming in. Good. All right, here we go. Oh, how far are you going to push me? Jeez. I didn't realize I needed to go all that way. Hello. Hello, GSX. Guys, FS2 crew needs to hurry up. I really hope that we're not going to get overhyped for that. I re really... <laughs> Man, we need... After GSX level 2, I just kind of lost all hope for GSX to actually become better as an as it as its core features hey dread platoon yeah this is the alaska more to love livery i actually flew on this uh, on that paint i don't know if it's the same airplane like the same tail but i flew on that um tail back to i'd have to like look through my pictures but i flew from vegas on that to uh, Seattle when I came back from FS Expo in June but I really like it's really cool it's even more beautiful IRL so yeah it's pretty cool all right so started one engine so we're gonna come up here and grab a pack here duffs true though Got to give the coordinates to love. Coordinates to love, my dude. Left is clear. Right is clear. Oh, that's a flashback. Alaska 719 at Hannah, Portland Tower, 123.77. Huh? 
Yeah, Duffs. The problem with that video that I did, well, it's it's real. It's hard to follow because you have to have such a like high level terminology basis so before it makes sense. It's not really a good introduction to like what's going on, but it's very like. Turkey, There's a lot in it. If you want to stop at 14, you can do that. I'm just going to vector you around that big mountain. Over it's there. pretty, pretty nuts. Okay, so I, I was just like missing my flow here. There we go. I fixed it. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. And Cherokee 494, I'll tell you what. From that point, you can go direct Kremlin and miss it. Direct Kremlin. All right, so we're gonna go for one. Motorcycling down to Orlando from Ohio. How far is that? I have no idea how far that is. That sounds far though. It sounds pretty cool though. All right. Now we're going for left. Sounds fun. It's just pretty far, isn't it? That's all. I'm, that's my only thing is you have to have enough time to get there in time. You know what I mean? You don't want to be dead either when you get there and not feel like you can do anything. Oh, does it really Duffs? Yeah, I've never been on one for like a long time. So yeah. All right. So I got the engines going. Hey, Prince. I'm good. Thanks. How are you, dude? It's good to see you. So we have ground and the tower frequency. So we're just going to finish this section. So we go pack auto left bleed. Close APU bleed. Engine gens. APU off. Taxi lights. Um, that's pretty much it. We'll go continuous. We need hydraulic A and we need probe. And we need to check this. Okay. I don't see any of the reds. So I didn't want to bump that down to three, two, five. I knew I clicked something earlier. I was trying to remember what it was. But other than that, I think that's good. I think that's very good. So we're going to set this to five so we don't disorientate ourselves or 10 so we don't disorientate ourselves. We're going to turn the range rings on. And we're going to set flaps to five. Hey, Prince. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully we can uh, make things go a little better for you, my dude, though. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Epic. How are you? It's good to see you. Yes, Lima Mike, that is correct. How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, this is the more to love. Um, this is the more to yeah, love Alaska good. livery. Seven eighteen on the uh, ILS two at left. Yeah, I flew on this back from FSX last year. Two two zero at one zero runway two eight left corner. Berlin two eight left left seven eighteen. I'll show it more in cruise probably a little bit. All right. Hey, Nick, the boss. How you doing, dude? Welcome. All right. So that's all good. So we're going to call ground and we're going to get out of here. I see my uh, charts here. Okay. All right. There we go. Seattle ground. Good evening, Alaska. Twenty-one sixty-seven. We're at the South Ramp. Ready to taxi with Tango. Alaska twenty-one sixty-seven. Seattle ground. Good evening, Road one six left. Taxi by Alpha, uh, by Bravo. Uh, one six left by Bravo. Alaska twenty-one sixty-seven. Oh, I guess one six left reopened. Seattle then. clearance. Very good evening. Uh, Interesting. Two one three. IFR uh, to Portland. 
Uh, he's going back to Portland. All right, guys. I love Portland, but I'm trying to give you a break from it for one day, all right? You got to give me that. You got to give me the, the credit for giving you a break from Playbeam PDX as much as I love it for a day. Oh, uh, okay, Prince. Yeah, no worries. I understand. Uh, 2040, departure in 6624. Delta 213, rebate correct. 16 left for departure. 16 left, we'll go there. Thank you. Hey, only Boeing. It's good to see you. What's up? How you doing? You brought Toronto <coughs> and Midway in Washington? Hmm. So Prince, I don't know if you do this, but what I do is when I, if I buy a scenery, I only buy one at a time. I don't know. I always, I only typically buy, I don't buy that many sceneries, but, um, when I do, I get them one at a time. I usually don't buy more than one in a short period of time. I swear, every time I load this up this stream, Chili is either at the ramp or in the air, SMH. That's a classic. Nothing like Chili on the ground. Hey, Sweet Pea, how are you? It's good to see ya. Okay, that was almost a good turn. I don't know why that felt so rough. I mean, cause I'm, maybe I'm going too, too much southwest for Alaska or what, I don't know. For you, you're neither at the ramp or in the air. Yeah, right now I'm not. You're right. Or penny. Then as filed. Climb by acid, except maintain a flight level one eight zero. Yeah. So Prince, um, my suggestion is, what happens when you disable Toronto in the scenery library? Like, don't uninstall it, but disable it in the library. Hey, miss the boss. Actually, most of these buttons actually do work. Yes. And I'll be using some of them in a little bit here. So, yes, miss the boss. A lot of the stuff in this actually works. There's only, like, a few main things that don't work that you would, like, never actually use even in the real world, really, Roger, so, like uh, pretty sparingly. Uh, like if it happened, I'd be very surprised. Hey, yo. All right, it's Skynet. The hell are you doing? Roger, so Hello? Hello? Am I seeing things or is that guy floating? Bravo Tango to Ram. Oh, that's kind of 19 every night. Hello? I think he's floating. It's like maybe 10 feet. Maybe 20. Maybe more than 20. Area 31. <laughs> Don't let Chili lie to you. This is all recorded. Chili just memorizes lines and timestamps. That would be really hard, actually. He was not cleared for takeoff. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. I didn't hear takeoff. Clearance. Where is... Is he slewing? What is... What is the... Is it just like scenery? What is this? Is he... Last 420 Seattle Tower. Good evening. Winds 250 at Oh, I know what it is. He's an X-plane. So the altitudes are mismatching. Yeah, no worries, Prince. Yeah, he's an X plane, so his our elevations are mismatching. Or like he has a default Seattle or something. I don't know. I don't know if he has Paywar Seattle or not. The Durzeki. The Druz the Druz Wiki. I don't know if I ever say it right, but I try, and the guy still likes me, so it's lived my life. JK, I fly both. What's up, Super Thrive? Are you laughing at me or this? I mean, both things might be funny, but... I don't know. This guy's going for it, though. This guy doesn't even need to take off. He's already going. 
It's already going, boys. Hey, Cthulhu. How you doing, Frando? All right, he's rolling. Wait, what? What? Where'd he go? Why did he sink? How did he, how did he just plummet? He was floating the entire time. And then he just like, was like, nope. I'm turning my levitation off. My zero gravity airplane mode. All right, I'm, I'm seeing things, dude. I'm telling you what, I'm seeing it. Too much information whiskey for me tonight, I guess. I don't know, man. Maybe I need to drink some ice. Less 420 and then I'll be good. Departure less 420. And then my planes won't float on my screen anymore. Just drink. Did you pour? Did you pour the ice on your screen? Did you pour ice on your screen to get rain on your 744? Did you so put weather in the sim? If you don't know the joke, I'm t if you weren't here yesterday, you need the context. Type exclamation rain and you'll get all the context. You get all the context and then some context. Use sandpaper on your screen if you have a dead pixel. That sounds stupid as shit. What the hell? <laughs> that sounds actually dumb. Wait, what? Do people tell people that? Oh my god. Oh no. Hey, Super Thrive, don't judge me, okay? It's a struggle out here, I'm telling you. These names, man. Yeah, click the link, Nick. I mean, you're fl you're f you're you're super thrive. You're you're too busy making fun of me mispronouncing someone's name to read the picture. Uh, to read the uh, picture that I linked or that's linked, and all that good funny stuff expect 30 minute delay oh god all right <sighs> yeah i'm gonna be resident sleeper if i have to wait 30 minutes to take off give me give me a half an hour i'll see you later i pay for this network damn it give me my clearance TBH. This ain't like the FAA. I pay for you. All right. You got to respect me. No, I do smile. Good meme. You do have you clearance. <laughs> D ice for a few. Yeah. It's all good, Mr. Uh, it's all good, dude. No worries on typing. We all have our, we all have our moments. Okay. So that's the Seattle departure frequency. And I need TRA and I need lights. And strobe. Okay, that should be it. Yep. Oh, I got to execute this change. Got to check that. Yeah, I had to change the runway because I got 1-6 left because I thought Seattle... I thought 1-6 center was still closed. Or 1-6 left was still closed for construction. I guess they finished it. It was closed forever. That's some nice customer support. What is it? San Francisco International is expecting delays. Inbound flights delayed 
on average of five hours due to the fact that ATC is not getting paid. Yikes. Centennial ground TBM one niner. Wait, uh, uh, there we go. Yankee holding. Yeah, that's a pretty yikes. Ready to taxi. That's a pretty yikes thing that's going on. TBM I know, zero zero I know about it. Ground, right, one seven left, taxi by Alpha. All right. One seven left by Alpha eight zero zero. Ask for twenty connect Seattle Center one two six point six. Seattle Tower, Alaska 2167. We're holding short 16 left at Charlie. Ready for departure. Alaska 2167, Seattle Tower. Good evening. Wind variable at 5. Runway 16 left. Clear for takeoff. 16 left. Clear for takeoff. Alaska 2167. Will vector for. No. no uh, feels bad. Yikes. In Seattle ground, just 213. Uh, we have uniform. Ready to go. Taxi. Delta 213, Seattle ground, runway 16 left, taxi via Bravo. We take Bravo to 16 left, 213. Last 420, Seattle Center, good evening, climate maintain, level 230. Yeah, Cheester, but I have an unfair advantage, so it's not really a, I'm ahead. It's that he started at a different time. The real question is, can I line up a plane? All right. Cool. Here we go. Contact Denver Center, 120.47. Here we go, boys. All right, 80 knots. Centennial Tower, TBM 190. This might be a bad time to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's required! Rotate, here we go. Good. Solid. Good solid line up there. And good solid center line on departure. Here? That sounds good. Get your zoop. TBM 1980 Zulu, proceed on to runway 17 left. Watch the back climb taxi rate, Jesus. Runway 35 right. Back taxi on runway 17 left to 35 right, 80 Zulu. Cherokee 154904, Denver Center. Good evening, the Denver Allenton 1367. This is literally a straight line. Why am I hand flying it? I don't know. Alaska 167, connect departure. Departure, Alaska 167. I don't want to go faster yet. Okay. Seattle departure, Seattle departure Alaska 2167. We're 3,800. Climb EV, the summer one, except maintain 9,000. Last 2167, Seattle departure radar contact. I'm maintain 15,000. 15,000, Alaska 2167. Alaska 2167, just make sure you get the right transition in there. Uh, break Alaska 420. It looks like you're headed towards the uh, Lakeview transition. Confirm. Make sure you have the right transition. Yeah, it's the Bravo Kilo Echo transition. The the Baker City. I think that's what it, yeah. I think he was just being nice though. I think that's why he said that. He's like, Chili put the shades on, I gotta I gotta look out for him. Yeah, twenty two eighty three stomach. Yeah, that's what it is. He's like, last 420 drive. Looks like it looked like you were a little further south than uh, what I thought you were gonna be. Uh, you gotta year. watch, you gotta watch him when he's doing that. 
You gotta watch. You gotta watch a guy, dude. I gotta put this back. I gotta put these back. All right, it's dark. And I did not want to take off when it was this dark. I should have made the time preview, or I should have put the time back more, but what, what am I going to do? See, uh, I guess we'll see if what I did to try to fix Black Marble being stupid the other day will work this way, I guess. We'll see. Okay, this is like a meme, I think. Hey, follow. How you doing? Yo, are we intercepting the radio? I think we are. Okay, I think we're fine here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, happy new year to you too, follow. Thanks for joining us. How you doing, Hayes? Good to see you. What's up? Uh, I don't have a follow which command ga Gongus Roy because I use Dbot. How are you doing though? Welcome. Uh, Hachi? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it's interesting, huh? It is interesting what's going on. Yeah, um, Gongus Roy, we're just, uh, it's either Gangus Roy or Gongus Roy, but I forget. TBM but we're going to Boise eight tonight. Eight zero, Zulu, three, just leaving five, Seattle. Right, takeoff, the one, three, pressure, zero, one, four, the air one, pressure in Seattle is still super low for compared to normal. It's a Delta lot lower than normal. Point. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, 2283 is cleared to Reno by the City 3 departure at Orca transition. Then it has filed. Climb by us, Sid. Except maintain one zero. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, just thanks, dude. Minutes after departure. Departure frequency one two zero point nine or five. Squawk six five six. Yeah, Duffs. I have no idea what you're talking about. I apologize. Miss the boss. If I missed your question, there we're going to Boise, Idaho. Uh, we are at yeah. three thousand for nine thousand. Uh, 2283, read back correct. Change climb out, climb via set, except maintain one 5,000. All right, we're going to get switched to uh, center. Uh, 2283, read back correct. Expect runway 10 right for departure. Delta 21213, Seattle departure, radar contact, climb and maintain one 5,000. Up to 15, 15,200. Last 420, connect Seattle center 125.1. Hey, um, Gongus, this is a 7 3. Last 21 and a 67, climb and maintain level 230, connect Seattle Center 126.6. Alright, up to level 230, and we'll contact Center on 266, slash 167. Center on 424, 238, climb and maintain level 230. Last 420 Seattle Center, thank you. Seattle Center, Alaska 2167, we're 15 3, claim flight level 230. Alaska 2167, Seattle Center. Alright. Yeah, honestly, Duff's like, I don't. Okay. TBM 1980, Zulu, Seattle. I feel Denver, like Parker. when. I didn't. I don't know, like, I understand, like, people care about sports, whatever, I guess. It's their thing, but. I guess that's the TV thing that I didn't understand most of all, was people getting pissed off over something they have zero control over. You know what I mean? Like, you could have zero, you could not even know what the NFL is and it would have no impact TV on anything. Zero, zero, climb and maintain, but two, zero, zero. The difference with something like Twitch is like, even if you're a viewer, Plus you have a direct impact. Contact Seattle Center 125.1. 125.1, last deployment, 67. Delta 213, connect Seattle Center, 126.6. I didn't see you at all, Wayne. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Seattle Center, Delta 213, uh, 10,000 for 1, 5,000. 
Delta 213, Seattle Center, good evening, climate maintain 16,000. Up to 1616, 23. Seattle Center, Alaska 2167, we're flight level 19 or 8, climbing flight level 230. Alaska 2167, Seattle Center, good evening, climbing maintain flight level 330. 330 now, Alaska 2167. Yeah, but the, like Duff's, the reason that I really like Twitch, like I don't consume like any traditional media. You know why? Because you get you, like there, you don't get to actually in, have any connection to it directly yourself at all. Isn't that wrong? Does that not seem wrong to you at all? That like something that so many people are somehow drawn to has no direct Plus connection to them as a person. Let me know what your mock stops at. Right, we'll probably ask about that. Alaska 420, thank you. Alaska 2167, when you level off, no faster than Mach 0.79. Not sure, uh, it, it cruised no faster than Mach 79, Alaska 2167. Alright, Mach 79, space sync, okay. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, only Boeing? Yeah. And Nico's, you know. Nico's Nico. Delta He's chilling, you know. Roswell, join the crater too. He's chilling. Get back, boom, what can I say? Cool. Uh, join the crater to one three. Who's ready for push? Whoa, camera. Hello. All right, I need some lights. Uh, twenty two eighty three, San Francisco ground push on the Alpha approved tail east. Oh, that's a little better. I should not have taken off at night. This is not the best. This is not the best thing. It doesn't look that bad, I guess, but. I don't know. Yeah, Duffs. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, Rip Wing? Yeah, that's just Chase Plane. Only Boeing. Don't worry about it. Center left 420, I'm sorry, you broke up there. You want 33? Affirmative. Last 420, climb the main same level 33. Did you guys three, see this okay. radar contact thing? What is this? What is the, Is it like an ATC thing for FSX? But apparently it like works in V4 or something. But like they released it for free, basically. It like, you can just get it now for free. Cause they stopped, they're like done with it, I guess. Cherokee 494, the steamboat altimeter 298. Hey, Mike Zulu Hotel. Oh, okay, that makes out. a lot of uh, sense. Okay, thanks for weather. your uh, thanks for your clarification. I appreciate it. How you doing, dude? Cherokee 1519, thank you. Hey, Genghis Roy, no worries. You take care of yourself, all right? We'll see you later. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Yeah, it's uh. It's interesting, Mike Zulu. We've had a few of these country, uh, countries, companies over the past year or two just kind of phase out, I guess. Hey, Andy. Yeah, dude. Yes, sir. What's up, Five Crew Chief? It's good to see you. Is it me or whenever you use the better pushback with the fly factor, it breaks? I have no idea, only Boeing, because I don't... I don't want to buy the Flight Factor 777 because it's not ready. What's up, Captain Aviation? How you doing, dude? It's good so to see you, man. Nine, Mike Alpha, Tucson approach. Can you do a Janet flight next? Shit, don't know where they go all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Feels good, man. It's, I feel like a bad, like I feel like I'm a bad streamer because I have no connection to sports because I have no desire to have one. I have Last never had a desire to have one. Last one maintain for level 310. Under, uh, amend to 310, Alaska 2167. Scott, Mayor Mike Alpha, reset transponder, Squawk 6547. All right, so we amended to 310. Your second most expensive mistake, okay. 
TV made zero Zulu connect Denver center one two. Yeah, zero, four, who needs the jar when you have the flight factor, right? Only Boeing. The only thing you're missing out on is disappointment. Sports? Well, you push virtual buttons, probably helps burn calories. Just a matter mic alpha Maybe. contact one three miles northwest of Tucson. E, Tucson. Altimeter three zero one nine or make straight in runway one zero left. TBM net, or corrections, the Niner Mike Alpha makes straight in runway one zero left. Of I don't care about sports either. I'll watch a game every now and then, but I don't Niner get emotionally Alpha invested in my team. Yeah, my the, team! Inside, 12 o'clock, 13 mile. Poggers plus Pepe Hands plus Moncas plus um, Feels Amazing Man plus, P plus Feels Birthday Man plus Alaska Feels Good Man equals sports, yeah. Okay, I'm in, okay, we're not. I don't think we're gonna hit Mach 79, but I gotta watch. Alaska 2167, resume normal speed. We'll resume normal speed, Alaska 2167. Well, I didn't change so it. Alaska, we're going at 431, true. Speeding up now, Alaska 420. Alaska 420, Roger. Um, oh, what are you showing across the ground? Uh, Has Ryo Codgers replaced CMOS battery uh, in his rain machine? Across the ground, your company behind I don't know. Up, I couldn't figure it out because he was only showing 450. What's the story on Ryo okay, Codgers? Kythrick, the far. new one or the old Unless one? Or both? Be, uh, point seven nine or Do you not know course. either story? Because yeah, some people uh, in the chat probably don't know either story yeah, too. Alaska but... 2167, I'm sorry, reduced to two, uh, point seven eight or slower now. Yeah, and Seattle Star Lost 267, Roger will keep a 0.78 or less, less uh, Lost 267. I don't know if I said my call sign twice. In front of you, it's uh, trying to figure out his engines. Denver so, Center, TBM 19800 Zulu at flight level 200. TBM 19800 Zulu, Denver Center, Basically. Um. Yeah, Basically, okay, the so the first right. part of Ryo Codgers is this. So back when the 74A came out in September, yeah, you know, for, three, looks like that turns into Zulu. So uh, Alpha Kilo uh, Bravo Zulu. Right, for P3D, you know? Um, there was this bug that we found I where, well, at first, okay, let me explain the bug's context and then I'll get into the whole, why it involves him. Because he's not a programmer, but I'll explain like what was going on. So. In the 748, um, Mike Alpha, thank you. Um, I took off, so I, I flew the first flight like perfectly fine, like no issues at all, right? The second flight, I took off from Salt Lake City and my entire plane stopped working. It became inoperable. I couldn't interact with anything. I couldn't put the gear down. I couldn't do anything. It like bricked is what I called it, because like what else do you call it? Okay. So, I was like, what the hell? Like, what? Like, doesn't make any sense. Like, obviously, I didn't do that. So, so then we, that day, we spent another, like, four or five hours, I think it was. It was either that day or the next day. We spent, like, all day trying to, like, figure out what was causing it. Like, we were basically bug fixing, but, or, uh, to testing for PMDG, I guess. And he, the bug was and this might explain something that you might have been wondering about the bug was that certain localizer approaches were when executed in the flight plan in the 748 were causing the plane to break but the reason we had no idea it had to do with the actual like with that is because it happened when i took off from salt lake city but the reason that it happened when i took off is because i already had it loaded because I load my arrival and my approach usually before I leave an airport. So that's why it it did that when I left Salt Lake. And I thought it was Salt Lake. So at first, like, I tried, like, deactivating Salt Lake. But it wasn't the scenery. And it kept happening at, like, different airports. With local approaches. Alpha, Tucson, Tower, so 
Okay. The so in this whole right like time zero, frame left, of us clearly. like bug testing this thing, right? Okay. So like during this whole deal, like couple days, there was there. So so Ryo Codgers on this thread sorry, about it because really someone else was having a similar issue to me. Okay. He basically responded to someone this. He said, my motherboard is Asus ROG Strix. Might be the Asus CMOS battery issue dot 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 might, period. Basically, he was implying that because he had an Asus motherboard, that the CMOS battery might have caused the plane to brick. Now, how does that relate to me? Well, I have a, I have an ASUS ROG motherboard, which, mind you, is a very good fucking motherboard. Okay? It's a very good... It's very good hardware. That makes literally no sense. It doesn't matter what brand of motherboard it is, though. That's not even the point. It doesn't matter. Like, that made no sense. I showed this to, like... Tons of people outside of flight sim, and they were all like, yeah, that guy's a dumb shit. Okay, so that's Ryle Codgers part one uh, about the bug, by the way. I showed PMDG it, not bringing up the whole Ryle Codgers being stupid thing in an email. Uh, take it to PMDG, and they fixed it. Like, that's great. Like, But the reason we still joke about that is because, like, that's ridiculous. Like, he's just being an ass. Now, the reason there's a second thing now is because, so the 748 got an update yesterday and the 744. Okay, so the 744 and 748 got an update yesterday. And for some reason, at first, it's fixed now. Okay, but for some reason at first, the 744's Rainmaker, like the thing that makes the rain, you know, when there's rain on the windshield, like the thing that makes like the, the windshield wet. You know what, Captain Coaster? I'm gonna do the meme music because I don't fucking know. Six six seven five zero hotels, Salt Lake clearance, clearance on request. Am I? All right. Delta so, two thirteen, Connecticut on approach one two three. Uh, correction one two four point three five. So you know, Rainmaker's broken. Okay. So Rainmaker's broken, and everyone on this thread replying to like the update thread that Robert Randazzo created, right? It's saying approach, it's broken. It's like probably 10 people, like 10 different people saying it's broken. It's probably broken, right? And freaking. Delta 13 on request. Mr. Ryle Codgers does this. Dumb question, but you set the sim to currently have rain where the aircraft is? Why? I never would have thought of that. No way, dude. I'm surprised this guy didn't call him a dumb shit in his response. That okay, might have been the end. That's why I don't use Avsim, by the way. Yeah. Make sure you put rain for Rainmaker to work where the aircraft is. Oh my god. Literally lost an another five IQ points reading that. It's so bad. 10 out of 10 support, by the way. 210. $140 add on, by the way. Gets basically acts like you're an idiot. Assumes you're just dumb. And that's why there's a second part to Ryle Codgers, Kythrick. Does it make sense now? You get it. Did you put rain there? 213, cleared direct liquid, cross liquid at or above 6,000, cleared on of Yankee Rumi 28 right approach. Is. It's not, it's not because it's the other 10 people are saying it's bugged. It doesn't work. What? Good. What? Yeah. Sorry, but it tilts me. Uh, Alaska, is that Alaska 420 track? Andy, why doesn't Ryle Codgers have to put his full yeah, real name as part back, of his uh, post on the PMDG the, uh, forum? Feels good, man. Yeah. Oh, I should probably Never change my cruise to be 310 because it thinks. Uh, I've got the weather in Steamboat Springs. I'd like the uh, roadway 32. It thinks that I was climbing still because I got leveled off. 
Yes, he's the new your computer. Yes, exactly. Is your computer plugged in? What? Clear correct tail. It's your zoom. Hello? I feel like he should ban himself. Reason other. <laughs> okay, my heading bug is off. You got me. I'm too tilted by, uh, by Ryle. Oh my god. I was just like, I actually thought I was like, hysterical that he did it again Cherokee, but i realized it actually wasn't me i wasn't crazy turkey nine mike alpha two sun ground thank you uh texted the right by alpha i'm on the ground with him wait i have no idea how i opened this tab on my dashboard just now that's so uh, weird okay so, uh, last of 420, so like Hey, Hardcore Pawn. Okay, what I was talking about isn't really drama. It's just someone being a dumbass again. Like, someone repeating history again. Up to 213, kind of at Yano, kind of Portland Tower, 1 to 3. Yeah. Uh, correction. That's well, all it is. Someone being stupid twice. Yeah, exclamation rain. Is your rainmaker not working because you forgot to put rain in your sim? Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are skiing you know, today at Steamboat. Uh, I'd like to uh, also run on a GPS approach echo into Steamboat. Yeah, flight sim is blessed. I Sometimes I wonder how we're so lucky, to be honest. Sometimes I wonder. Yo, Billy! Thank you for the two yeah, month resub. I appreciate it so much. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for supporting the stream. I've subbed to someone, Kappa. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for continuing to sub to me for the longest you've ever subbed to someone. Longer than Ryle Codgers has gone without making someone feel like an idiot. Credit to the other guy who goes with it and says, yes, it's raining. Yeah, hardcore pawn, I know. You know what separates good pilots from really crappy ones? What? Whether they have a golden speed brake lever? Or whether they can deal with Ryle Codgers and not go insane. TVM800 cross till at or above 13,000. Cleared RNAV echo into Steamboat. Hey, Mick the Third, how you doing? It's good to see you. Cross till at or above 13,000 cleared for the RNAV echo approach. Selecting a Eight useful. Zero. This is useful. I can see the United, next uh, fix. North the TD point and the first constraint all in one. How is that not useful? I think it's an opinion that you think it's not useful. It's working for me just fine. Thank you very much. It is working just, just because I don't identify as a 20 ND range doesn't make me dumb. To be honest. The 67 uh, Seattle Center lost to clone 67 with level 5 level 3 ones here. Okay, thank you. Uh, showing 30.6. Mm, definitely at 3 1. I don't know what to tell him. You could probably afford to zoom it in one level, though. Yeah, I mean, I can afford, but, you know, I mean, it's all good. That's weird, Tanner. You know why? Because he said I'm at 30.6. Wait, are you, tr are you telling me to say that? Like, for real? No, yeah, it's not, like, trolling? That sounds like, that sounds professional enough. Okay. Let's see, I also lost which one was 67. Yeah, the altimeter is showing us uh, 310 at standard. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Why are you cruising? So we were normally filed for 33, and then he had us level at 310 for spacing or something or separation. Have you set your altimeter to standard? Yes, hardcore pawn. Hey, is your altimeter wrong? Because you didn't set it to STD. Yes, that's why. You got me. 
Alaska 420, I'm not sure what's you going got on me. I'm showing you across the ground at 510. Your company behind you is you going got me. 450. I just turned However, it on. Thank on you. you. Thank Alaska you for catching me. Reduce speed, maintain Mach 0.78 or slower. Okay. Yeah, Astro? Maintain Mach 0 0.80 or, fat or greater. Roger, Mach 0.8 or greater, last 267. Wow, yikes. Mach 0.8. Jesus. All right, boys. It's getting serious. All right, we're going for it. It's a, we're going for it. Uh, this, we got to test this plane. You're at 2283, climb and maintain. Flight level 310, connect to Oakland Center now. One, two, uh, correction, one, three, two, point nine or five. Don't talk about things only Rao Codgers has to worry about, like standard, yeah. Did you turn altitude on? <laughs> yeah. Are you flying too slow because you didn't turn on the plane? Oh, so serious, man, United, yeah. One nine or zero climbing three one zero. I'm sorry. The reason that I think it's so right, funny is because I just don't like it when people are like asses to people like that. When like you're literally making them feel like they're that stupid. Like you can't flight sim to like this point if you're that dumb. Like how could you possibly like, you know what I mean? Um, I just don't understand how you could get to that point and, let, and then just like be a complete idiot. What's up Lyman? Good. It's good to see you, dude. I'm doing good, man. Thanks for asking. How you doing, dude? Yeah. Did you open P3D? Salt Lake Center 1928.72. I think that was for me. Let's see. Oh, Center Alaska 2167 was that press. Delta 213, Portland Tower. I guess it wasn't. Wind 220 at 8, runway 8, right pedal. Alaska 2167, connect Salt Lake Center 128.72. 2872, Alaska 2167. Yeah, I kind of like trailed in and I couldn't hear it. Salt Lake Center, Alaska 2167, level playable 310. Alaska 2167, Salt Lake Center, you mean cross hosts at or uh, above 13, uh, correction, at 13000. 198, maybe we just been on the final. Uh, the Roswell, final, cross uh, hosts at 13000, Alaska 2167. Hey, Phoenix J, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thanks for supporting the stream, my friend. I appreciate it. Can you guys give him a welcome, please? Thanks, Phoenix. Enjoy the emotes. If you have questions about anything, let me know, all right? Thanks so much, dude. Good evening to you. What a guy. He's coming in with the sub like that. What a guy. All right, I'm probably going to need to descend hotel, now. Because I'm I have your clearance early, your early so, so uh, yeah. Plan that Not for you. Didn't look right to me. super early, but... Yeah. Diamond 50 Hotel is cleared to Mike Yankee Lima Airport via the uh, Salt Lake 4 departure radar vectors. Or with, uh, yes, I tried control out delete Saj Astro. Thanks for asking. I'm going to maintain 10, 000, Does your house wait, 1, have 2, electricity? Do you reinstall your Windows Cortana? What are you talking about, Captain Coaster? Yeah, do you can do you have it plugged in in the air? Maybe that's it. Maybe you're trying to flight sim while flying a Cessna and it's not working. Maybe that's the problem. It all makes sense now. Diamond five zero hotel readback is correct, and it's going to be the Tango Charlie Hotel Porta. Uh, It's all like center, last 2167, we're out of 310 now. Uh, because we have to cross hosts at 13000. So. 
I don't want to risk it. It's not an above anymore. No, master Last caution. Last 420 to maintain level 300 when able to 50 knots or slower. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, over here? Uh, you're not pointing me anywhere. Oh, you mean... Oh, you mean up here? That doesn't make sense. We're descending. I don't understand. You mean in here? Like, you're, 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 I think you're trying to be helpful, but like, no, you mean up here? Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, Frey Dog. How you doing, dude? I just wanted to make sure you didn't mean the FMS, that's all. Oh, I didn't realize we'd actually get to... Oh no, I'm going way too fast. Wait, why did I switch? Why did I switch from mock? What happened? I, did I switch that? I do not want... Oh my god, I'm going so fast. That's 420 to send a maintain and up that little 230. Well, he said block point eight, so maybe I should... That's direct host. Direct host, up. Alaska 2167 resume normal speed. Roswell resume normal speed, Alaska 2167. Yikes, dude. So why is, oh, VNAV is out because we, I see. That's 2167 to send and maintain with level 200. Zero, zero. That's got a 2167, Conic Salt Lake Center, 133.25. 3325, Alaska 4167. Alaska 420, Connect Seattle, uh, Salt Lake Center 133.25. 3325, Alaska 420. I can't even see the radio. There we go. Alaska Center United 2283, we're now making 3 1. Request uh, 290 as the final one descent for uh, bridge. I was wondering about that. United 2283, cross hole BOA, at or above 17,000, the Reno altimeter, 2969. All right, cross the bow at about one seven seventeen thousand at twenty two eighty three. So I lost four twenty four two men very same to three star. Alaska four twenty Salt Lake Center good evening cross hosts at one three thousand. Post three thousand or Alaska. Alaska four twenty you can resume normal speed. Normal speed is four twenty. I'm not sure what's going on with your ground speed. It's showing 510 the whole time, and there's, I mean, the guy behind you is doing four, uh, he was doing 450, and he was gaining on you the whole time. Yeah, I was showing 510 as well. It's a little same amount of time I see. He was just coming out, he was catching up. <laughs> Last guy, 2167, turn right, heading 100, zero, vector sequence into Boise. That's right, right heading 100, zero, just about to check in last 2167. Uh, what do you mean, uh, Andy? I don't understand. You mean you want me to, you want to have Southwest let me do content at Love Field and their training center? Cause that would, I would be open to that. I'm open to it. I would love to. 76750 Hotel Salt Lake Ground. Good evening, Runway 17 Taxi Via. Wait, was it Kilo. one niners? Yeah, it was.
Yeah, Andy, I mean, I'm in, but... I'm gonna slow down a bit here. I feel like I'm going way too fast. What's up? What's up, Tyway? How you doing? Yeah, I know. It happens. Oh, you're on PS3, Freight Dog? That sounds yikes. Plus 2167, proceed direct post, resume the arrival. Roger, proceed direct host, resume the arrival, last is 167. I'm gonna put the ILS and stuff in now. Up 213, Portland clearance cleared to Boeing Field via the Portland 1 departure radar, radar vectors battleground, then as filed. I'm going to maintain 6,000 and expect 17,000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.35, squawk 7225. Okay, so we set the uh, navs up for the approach. Delta 213, uh, apologies, new squawk for you, it is a uh, 5333. No joy triggers you. <laughs> yeah. Hit one too many buttons. Oh, I see. Well, Freight Dog, you know what? I have a suggestion. Affirmative. Uh, get like a, um, a Chromecast or something, I think. We'll help, we could do that, and it's pretty cheap. They're like 30 bucks or something. I think, and you can plug it in and log in, and then. Denver Center, DBM one nine eight zero zero on the ground. Also, you can also, you, can, you can just get DBM an adapter zero zero to uh, connect your Denver iPad to your TV, or you can use Apple TV. I don't know, just some ideas. So yeah, that's Tricky that's my idea for you. Letter above one three thousand. I'm good there. Sorry. Arnav. Arnav. Arnav Echo and just more. Clear uh, Tilly, Tilly at or above uh, 13,000, clear for the RNAV GPS approach, uh, echo into Steamboat Springs, Cherokee 494. Yeah, for those of you coming in, we're just uh, about to head into uh, Idaho here. Uh, 2283, oh. NorCal approach, good evening at Hoboa, clear ILS Zulu or runway 16 right approach. So, yeah, Capona, um... You're at 2283, the Reno altimeter again, 2969er. Capona, I think what you might be looking for is, like, Plus joystick visualizer. From Look it up, it's on Six. GitHub. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it does, Captain Coaster. Yeah. Uh, Tyway, no, this is P3D. This is the NGX. That's 420, Big Sky Approach, the boys. Hey, Astro, thanks for the support. I appreciate the kind of words. Thank you. Yeah, Capona. Yeah, no worries. Also, I think they do the MFG crosswinds if you have it. If you have those. I don't know if they do any other pedals, but. Four nine four. It's Ziva for P3D, so P3D users can finally enjoy some inaccurate airplay. If you guys don't know, he really doesn't like the Zebo. He really does not like it. Can you can you explain in a testimonial style format why you do not like the Zebo? 
AM 2012. Can you explain? He doesn't like it, folks. He's not a fan. Uh, hello? Oh, that's right. Never mind. That's retractables that have the multi-part switch thing. He hates it over the default? No, Kytherick. I don't think that's the- I don't think that's his point. Exclamation, Andy. I'm a pilot and I'm telling you that Zebo shit sucks. Thank you. Oh no. Yikes. Big yikes. That's a big yikes. Bevo six seven five zero Hotel Salt Lake Tower turn right heading two nine five runway one seven clear for now. Does it come with a Kyle Rogers? Did you put rain in? Yes. Did you put rain in? Yeah, the Zebo is freeware because That's it, descend, uh, via unless I misunderstand how it works, I'm three. pretty sure that it's not payware because of the license fee thing. Hey, at, uh, but what do I know? That's what I thought approach. I heard. But I don't know. I'm not saying that either way. For sure. Because I don't know. What's Master up, Master Geek? Uh, How are you, dude? Descend by the Parmo 3 arrow. Might as well descend by the Parmo 3. Last 267. I'm not like trying to like say like that it's not cool that like they've been doing that mod for all this time. I'm just saying like I don't think people understand that in general people like to be rewarded for putting in ridiculous amounts of effort into something. So, you know, I don't know. That's that's kind of how I feel about that, though. Uh, Capona was a while, probably like eight or nine months. Seven or eight months. Yeah. I'd like to be rewarded for all the effort I put into teaching you how not to suck. You have been rewarded. It's all this free entertainment. You know how much money you've saved by watching my stream instead of going to strip clubs and bars while you're traveling? Don't even. That's your reward. How much money you've saved by not being a uh, man on his own. That's what I thought. You know I'm right. Maybe not strip clubs, but definitely whiskey. Whiskey can get expensive. A finger or two can get expensive, you know what I mean? 1967, connect big sky approach, 19.6. 19.6, Alaska 2167. Yo, hardcore, hopefully not. Hopefully he's fine. Big sky approach, Alaska 2167, level 13,000 on the Parma 3, and we have Victor Boise. Alaska 2167, Big Sky Approach. Good evening, the Boise Altimeter 2969er. Expect ILS runway 10 right approach. Roger, 2969 we'll expect the ILS 10 right, Alaska 2167. Wait, what? The altimeter changed again? Wait, why is none of this data matching? This Duck is so weird. 13 NorCal. Why is the altimeter so off? Duck on uh, 13. That's Oakland not what Center. Active Sky is pulling at all. Clear to literally. As this is not what it's pulling. That's a the big discrepancy, I would have to argue. 0 0.08 is a lot because you're in hold. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about being at 1306. I'm saying he called the altimeter as 29 or 69 or, but literally Correct. the Correct. altimeter Correct. is 29 or 61 because that's what Active Sky is pulling. 
What's up, Illinois I'm Simmer? Aircraft jet blue. It's good to see ya. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. There's a jet blue aircraft on. I don't have a flight plan for you. Thanks so much. What's your number? No, it's Wayne. That isn't the problem I was having. I mean, thanks, but that wasn't really my issue. Overall. <laughs> they don't hardcore? Yikes. Nah, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, maybe, maybe Andy. That makes sense, but I'm going to use the altimeter that my simulator thinks is correct because it's not a big deal. JetBlue 186, clear to Boeing Field via the Portland 1 departure rate of Vectors Battleground as filed. Climb and maintain 6,000, check level 190, minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.35. Yeah, Tyway, we'll three, see two, how two. long that takes, but I wish you the best. Anyways. I wish him the best, but who knows? TBH. JetBlue 186, you're back. Doc, I'm 13. Let me know when you hold the short number one. Ready for the room? All right. And who else is calling on answer? If I get called in the next two minutes, tell me when I get back. All right. Tell me. I'll be right back. I heard somebody for Denver stand by. Who else is calling about an ILS? That's Alaska 420. Just want to confirm the third for ILS 10 right approach. Alaska 420 confirm. Alaska 2167 at Jimmy clear ILS from a right approach. A big sky approach, Alaska 2167, say again. At Jimmy, clear the ILS from a 10 right approach. Roger, Jimmy cleared the ILS 10 right, Alaska 2167. Diamond right, 50 Hotel, flight heading 330, climb and maintain 12,000. Okay, the I have 40, I heard, I heard it through my head. <laughs> oh my god, okay, well, that's not happening. Never mind. Going 326, Mike, Charlie Heavy. Cleared to. That is not happening. All right, guys, hold on. I've got multiple aircraft calling me. Boeing uh, 6 Mike Charlie Heavy cleared to Denver via the Rugged One Departure Purdy transition as filed. Climb and maintain 1 0 thousand. Expect the three struggles of ATC, though. Departure frequency 12851, squawk 4232. Hold for back. It's a rough life. Class 420 Connect Tower. All right, Tower, last 420. Alaska 2167 at Jimmy Connect Tower. Roger, Jimmy will contact Tower Alaska 2167. United 2283 Connect Tower. Switch to Tower United 2283. Alright, who else was calling for a clearance out of Jackson Hole? Or 346 Lincoln Lakes, Clear to Jackson Hole is filed. Climb and maintain. Uh, Capona, yeah, by default. Level 24010 minutes yeah. after departure. It's uh, live weather. Departure frequency 120.47, squawk 4060. Hey, loud noises. And hold three back. Uh, it's a paid service, Pilot Edges. That's part of the reason. Also, it's only the western half of the United States. A lot of people don't like flying TBM on Pilot Edge like because it doesn't back cover back the East back. Coast. Uh, hold for release of number one. The network back. covers the whole world, but the actual ATC doesn't. The ATC service only covers Boeing the western half of the United States. Ahead. That's why. It doesn't cover the East Coast and, like, uh, everything else. Boeing You're funny. Back to coaster. I feel like I needed to start slowing the airplane for this, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, 2283 Reno Tower, good evening, runway 16 right, clear to land. I feel like I need to be doing way more than I'm doing right now, or I'm gonna be in trouble. Duck, I'm 13, release for departure, clearance void, if not off by 0415, change to advisor frequencies approved. Uh, Cheester, if they do, it will take time. According to Keith. Two 
TBM 1980 Zulu is cleared to Centennial Airport as filed. Astro, I do, yeah. 210. Departure frequency 120.47, squawk 4725, hold for A few. The only one that I kind of like is Sacramento, but it pisses me off that there's no V4 installer for it. I have the Airbus, but I don't like it at all. I only fly the Fight Factory next plane. TBM 80 Zulu, read back correct. Expect about a uh, 10 to 15 minute delay for IFR and Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. Major. Nope, can't do that. I effed up. I thought I ignored this. This is not. Okay. Yikes. What kind of arrival does that? That's so bad. Why would I want to be at 250 knots in 10 miles? That's so bad. Up to okay, it's fine. I'll be fast ground, enough. I just really kilo, wanted to be able to get dragged on the airplane. Tail. But let's see. Oh, I also, the, I also did not mean to descend past eight thousand. I fucked up. Uh, I should just disconnect before I get a deviation. Right, There's no point. God damn it. Yeah, I'm just gonna not get in trouble. Sorry, guys. It's my bad. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. I don't even know why I was in vertical speed. How did that even happen? I don't even know. remember pressing that. I don't remember clicking at uh, vertical speed at all. It's not your fault. I don't know. I don't remember clicking vertical speed at all. That's my confusion. What's up, Maja? How you doing? Yeah, I don't remember clicking vertical speed at all. I'm really confused. <sighs> Holy crap. This thing became a rocket for a sec there. Apparently, I entered vertical speed, but I don't know how. I have no idea how. And no one else noticed it either, so I don't know what happened. Uh, Maja, I have a document for that. Uh, I made a guide for it. You can uh, check, take, check the link. If you have questions, let me know, but... That's the, uh... That's the general list of them. Yeah. This isn't Southwest. This is Alaska. But. I don't know. Anyway. I'm pissed. Sorry. I'm pissed because I have no idea why I went into vertical speed. I don't know why that happened at all. Like, I, I'm trying, I'm thinking about what, I'm like thinking about it and I have no recollection of that even happening. I don't even know, like, I must have clicked it by accident. Because Cheester, I was gonna get in trouble anyways and there's no recovering from that error. Like, there's no reason for me to get a deviation over literally a mistake that I understand that I did already. So there's no point. Pilotage doesn't reward you for learning before you like pilotage doesn't reward you for learning. It just punishes you for learning. Like if you even if you understand you made the mistake, you just get in trouble. So it doesn't matter. You might as well just disconnect and finish the flight. So, I mean, it's OK. It happens like it doesn't matter, but. Well, no loud noises, but it's a matter of flying on the service. 
No, but yeah, hardcore. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have slowed down, but I don't know why I like started descending too. Yeah, but I think I thought I was in level change before that. Mm, I don't know. It's all good. It's not a big deal. I mean, like, we're almost there anyway. So it has just gotten my tower clearance. Pretty much. Anyways, I'm going to start slowing down for this approach here. Airbus's trigger Boeing levers. I think that's true. I would, that, that seems to be common. I mean, I don't know. I'm more annoyed that I don't understand how I entered vertical speed. That's what I don't get. I don't remember clicking it at all. That's not some, I don't think I've done that before. I mean, obviously I did it, but I don't have any recollection of doing it at all. Like I didn't even see myself click it. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, but Capona, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not that, like, I don't know. Yes, I turned the engines on. Thanks for asking, Astro. Also, I think my position of everything is off right now. Because I swear my foot is way too close to me. And it's hurting my foot. But I'll fix it later. It's fine. I'm going to land this plane. So caught the localizer. All right, we need to get this gear down. We need to slow down. Did my black marble turn on? I don't even know if my black marble's working, to be honest. I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, well, Andy. I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say something, but never mind. It doesn't matter. I did arm speed breaks. What do you mean? Oh no, you said that once, not twice. Never mind. I thought I I read it twice. I thought I already. Uh... Okay. I guess I'm too fast a little bit, but fuck okay. it. I don't have the patience right now. Uh, Cheester, ask me again in like five minutes. Not now. Bad time to ask. One thousand. Well, Andy, I was going to say, like, what you mean you're not perfect? I don't, you know, I don't know. Thank God it's not a Portland flight. Yep, it's not a Portland flight. Tried to make it not a Portland flight because I didn't want to spam it again. Because, you know, that's probably annoying. All right. 
All right, well, something's going on with the weather. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna have to launch it. Dude, this is rough. What the hell? I feel like I'm getting blown everywhere. I mean, maybe I'm just bad, but I swear it feels like there's something going on here. Oh, I'm too high, dude. Yeah, I'm getting fucked here. 100. 50. Uh, yo. 30. Hello? 20. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Where did my lights go? All right. I was like getting disoriented there. All right, this is just not my night. Holy shit, everything just like went. I'm sorry guys, everything apparently just broke. My arrival broke, my scenery broke. Everything just fucking went downhill. I guess you can laugh about it though at least. There's that. Oh, it's all good, I guess. Try it anyway. Oh my God, I don't even know where I'm turning. I can't fucking see the taxiway. Is this Magnite? The, the scenery is Magnite, not the plane. Oh my God, I can't see, dude. I literally can't see anything. How am I supposed to see? All right, boys. I'm off the runway. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. For the record, I didn't rage quit. I've had to piss for 20 minutes. The other thing is, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that mad. <laughs> Yo, guys, the struggle, the true struggle of life is really this. Either do you get chronic dehydration like three fourths of Americans or do you Piss every hour. What? Make your po pick your poison, dude. Where is this taxiway? Dude, this tax. Dude, what is this taxiway? Yeah, this airport is trolling. I swear. Is there a way to get this airport to work? Like, why does, why did this, why is this like that? I don't understand. I feel like that that's a little unacceptable. I have no other scenery that does that. It's FSX scenery Boise. It's the only Boise scenery that exists. It's not Orbex Vector. 
It's not a vector add-on causing that. No. Like... I don't run Orbex Vector. Can you please stream quality content next time? Andy, I apologize. I know, it was rough. It was a rough one. I'll try though. You left Nico and Gong stream because I'm not flying in Portland? Hey man. I... Even though my scenery's effed up, I tried. All right, boys, we're almost to the terminal next to the uh, floating lights. Is that what they, is that what the Northern Lights are? They're, they're these? Is that what they are? But yeah, guys, I appreciate you all coming out tonight, despite all the, uh, <laughs> all the interesting moments. All right, got to be careful of the uh, F-22s here, boys. Wait, guess what I just realized? I turned off on the wrong side. All right, that's my problem. I was like, why is this taking so long? Okay, I need to cross the... Uh, I need to cross the runway over to the terminals here. It's over here. Oops. Whoops. I said F-22s. Not F-16, uh, not F-16s, but okay. Is this even? I don't even know how to see where I'm going in this freaking airport. Like, what happened there? I'll just do a clean install as all P3D owners should, yes. Clean install, wipe it out. Um, all right, Super Thrive, why not? What do I got to lose? What do I got to lose? Just buy a new CMOS battery. It's FSX scenery, Cheester. Oh, hey, well, I guess I'm not parking there. Oh, hey, yo, hey, hey, Gates, whatever floats your jetways, man. Yeah, that puts a whole new meaning on that one. You guys know me. I don't... I don't use gates. I just park. Alright. I am gonna park here. And pretend like none of this ever happened. Looks like both the payware and default is injected. Maybe. Maybe Super Thrive. Maybe that is it, huh? All right, well, I'll take a look at it later. Thanks, Super Thrive. Appreciate it, dude. Okay. Thanks, thanks, Sea Dog. Yeah, I paid like $20 for this over the summer, too. It's kind of scuffed. 
kind of some scuffed scenery, but it happens. It's all good. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> thank you guys for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thanks for the memes and everything. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for the support. I had good intentions, I assure you. I had good intentions. If you host someone flying Portland, I'll re. Uh, don't worry, that wasn't my plan. Actually. So you're good. Oh, you're good. All right, guys. Um, so. That's going to be it for me then, I guess. Welcome to Boise where the physics are made up and the scenery does not matter. Hey, Hardcore Pawn. Hopefully, despite the, all the interesting stuff that you'll come back soon yo what a, what here's some yo. support for your trip here's some support for your trip hey cheester thanks for the fiver dude i appreciate it thank you very much my dude thanks so much Okay, one sec. I'm gonna see if I can find a host target here. Oh, you said someone that's not streaming Portland and someone that's um what do I call it? Whatever, Steve. Come on, you're trolling. Someone flying. Well, Nico's not in Portland anymore, but I guess that's irrelevant to your request. Oh my gosh. I should host someone who has no. Wait, one sec. One sec. Yeah, but I'm not in my late 50s, so. What's wrong with Portland? Portland is good, but people are tired of seeing it on streams because everyone's been streaming it because it's so good. Everyone's been streaming it because it's so freaking good, dude. That's why. Flight attendant dude streaming. If you're talking about Jordan, no, he's not. He's not live right now. Oh, all right. Well, I I just don't like hosts to go to waste if I can help it. Sometimes it's whatever, but all right, guys. I'll go say hi to Nico, but. Um, thanks again for being here tonight. If you watch this fiasco on YouTube until the end, well, thank you. I appreciate it. The, uh, social links, including our discord server link, if you'd like to join are in the video description. If you're in my chat right now, uh, the socials, if you would like to follow me on them are in the t Twitch chat right there in front of you, but thank everyone. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, all right, go say hi to Nico for me. Have a great rest of your Sunday. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. So I think I'm changing my day off to Monday and then streaming Wednesday instead.
because um, basically how my Monday is this term, it's really fucked. Basically, I have like five hours of classes and I have time technically in the afternoon, but like, I don't know if I'll be like dead or not. I don't really know if I want to like try to stream and then go to a three hour class. Although I've heard that it's not actually three hours. I've heard that it's like an hour and a half. It just says it's three. It's one of those things where the prof is like, you know. Yeah, I have. So I have I start at nine till 11 and then I have noon to one and one to or no i have so nine to eleven and then one to two and then six to nine i'm like oh my god so that that kills streaming in the evening on monday so i basically have like three hours between my afternoon and my uh, I guess it's viable. Maybe I should just move it so it's EU friendly. I don't want to like kill myself streaming though, but hmm. What do you guys prefer? I guess is my question. What do you guys prefer me do? I prefer that I do because like I can still I can stream, but it can't be in the evening this term. It has to on Monday. It has to be. Uh, in the afternoon if I do it, but I feel like I don't know. I feel like I should just switch the day because like and just do things do other stuff that day because like I don't know <laughs> Yeah Just switch Yeah, okay, well I guess I'll just do that then. Drop out, Sea Dog. Do you wanna do you wanna find me a job in Flight Sim that pays the bills right now? Cause I, if I mean if you have that, then maybe I can just, you know, you know, work something out and you know. What's up, Melt Cobra? How you doing, dude? It's good to see ya. Everyone will understand. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you guys have been pretty supportive, so. I heard PMDG. Yeah, Ryle Codgers is recruiting. Let's see. PMDG Joms. Ooh, PMDG on LinkedIn. Maybe that's how I have to find them. Aviation and aerospace jobs. Aw, oh, there's no jobs. Unfortunate. TBH. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I'm screwed. All right, is there any other companies? Okay, I'm joking, but I actually was looking out of curiosity like a couple weeks ago. But anyways, enough rambling. I'll go say hi to Nico. You guys take care and have a great rest of your life. Don't, don't figure my life out for me. I got to figure out my own life. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you later. Bye.